You're watching Drake Queen Gaming. Enjoy the video. Hey guys, Nary here from Drake Queen Gaming. Something to me on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at another Let's Play episode of Tennis Ace. So I'm gonna be probably just a little bit quieter. I'm currently recording at night, and there's some people sleeping. So anyway, we had just met the new transfer student, and we're just gonna jump right back into that. Guys, please sit back and enjoy. Let me continue for the next 20 minutes, and let's jump right in. Alarm saying you're up, and let's go. All right, <clears throat> okay. He stood quite a bit taller than class rep, his face covered by beige fur that descended down towards his neck and disappeared inside of his uniform. He wore a meek smile as half hid behind class rep, despite easily standing over her. Um, Harrow? His voice came out as a near squeal. It almost looked like his fur was tinted red. Not to mention his Japanese. His Japanese sounded completely broken right now. What? He's so cute! He's adorable. The girls were still in the classroom immediately. The girls that were still in the classroom immediately crowded over him, touching and pulling on him as he looked at them in panic. Keiko twitches as he hears the boy talk. Yeah, his French sounds so cute. His words seem to drive the girls even more wild. Class rep seems to be standing to the side, giggling in delight at this little show. All right, that's enough. Kaken pushes his way through the mob, reaching up next to the fox and separating all the girls from him. Everyone stop already, this is ridiculous! But, but, uh, who are you? Aren't you just a second year? Shh, he's the son of Irushi Harrow Corporation! Ah! As they start to whisper to themselves, it quickly creates a buzz around the group of girls and they seem to quickly disperse. Kaken breathes out in relief as he turns to the fox. Oh, okay, I... Mm. <sighs> Je m'appelle Keisuke Irushi Harrow. It's just un plaisir de vous reconstruire. I probably don't speak French very well. Fox's eyes widen in surprise as he hears Kaysuk speak in what I assume is French. Vous parlez, Francois? Kaysuk smiles, offering a handshake. Oui, monsieur. The fox smiles widely, grabbing hold of Kaysuk's hand and shaking it with gusto. Uh, Kaysuk, since when do you speak French? Hmm? Oh, I can understand a few languages. Japanese, English, French, Portuguese, Indonesian, Italian. I'm pretty basic with most of them, though. English and French are the only ones I can actually speak. Uh, huh, that's... Huh. Wow, yeah, at least someone can talk to him, then. Uh, that won't be necessary. Victor can actually speak Japanese. Wait, he can? Uh, y yes, uh, I speak Japanese, somewhat. Wow, your pr well, your pronunciation is pretty good. I can't say it's impeccable, but it's very close. Thank you. Let me introduce myself properly. My name is Victor Chevalier. Chevalier. It's a pleasure to meet you. V Vic, Vic, uh, no, it's too hard to say. Uh, um, uh, so sorry. Uh, don't worry about it. That's just how Kobayashi is. Just answer me this, though. If you can speak Japanese, then why don't you when... Then why don't you? Well, then why didn't you when they were hounding you? The girls didn't understand a word of what you said. What did he say, anyway? Something along the lines of, back off already, would you? No, 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 that's not quite right. It was more, please just let me breathe, to be honest. Yeah, but you sound like a wimp with that line. Gah! The guy hasn't been here for five minutes, and Kasich is already making teasing jokes at his expense. Uh, Kaykun, at least let him get acclimated with us before you start cracking jokes about him. Oh, sorry. He steps away, looking awkwardly at Victor. The fox, on the other hand, looks at us in curiosity. Um, so you're my new classmates, right? Uh, yeah. Uh, my name is Yuichi Michimaya. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Jun Kabayashi. Nice to meet you, Vikun. Vikun, but... Um, hey, I like the sound of that. Vikun. It's catchy. I'll go with that, too. Nice to meet you, Vikun. I'm Kasek from Class 2A. Um... I'm Yuichi Irata from Class 3A. I'm not your classmate. But I do come over here a lot, so you'll probably see me often. He's also the president of the student council, so don't hesitate to go to him if you have some sort of problem. Oh, that's cool. I'll make sure to keep that in mind. Me next, me next! I'm Saya Mizuguchi from Class 3A. Bon voyage! <laughs> bon voyage? Yeah, that's uh, nice to meet you in French, right? I... I... Kaken bursts out in laughter. But what? 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 What did I say wrong? Um, um, bon voyage is French for have a safe trip. 
What? what? <laughs> he hasn't even had time to arrive properly, and you're already shoving him out the door and telling him to leave. <laughs> what, what? That's not what I meant. Stop laughing, Kaken. Kaken! I said stop laughing, damn it! In a single second, she grabs hold of him in the neck choke. <laughs> ow, 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 ow! All right, all right, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, please, just let go, I can't breathe. Are those, are these two always like this? Oh, yeah, you've seen nothing yet. That's scary, to be honest. You're gonna have to get used to it sooner or later, if you're going to be in this class. I'll, I'll keep that in mind, too. By the way, Vicon, what's up with the horse? In a second, everyone's attention immediately snaps to the fox as June finally asks the questions we were all thinking but not saying. Oh, we're going there after all, huh? Okay, what is the deal with the horse? Vic winces, looking away from us for a second, his cheeks becoming red again. That's, um, I, I kind of lost a bet. A bet? Well, not really a bet bet, more like, um, how should I put it? My older brother made an agreement with me in exchange for his help. You see, my parents were initially opposed to me going on an exchange program, and since their divorce, I don't get much time with my father. My brother, he told me that if he managed to convince my father to let me on this trip, I'd have to show up my first day of class on horseback. That's pretty wild of him. Honestly, he does this kind of stuff all the time. But tormenting me seems to be his main hobby. It doesn't sound like a healthy hobby. Hey, messing around with your young siblings can be fun at times. Yuichi san too, huh? Guess he would call child protective we should call prot Guess we should call child protective services before he mess before he messes a Akiyoshi kun too badly. I was joking Well, I guess it could have been worse. You could have imposed a condition like uh, you must go to school naked on your first day of class. I'd have refused to go on this trip then and there. Huh, I always thought French people didn't really care about modesty. I I feel like I should punch you for that. I, I was joking! Feel free to punch him, Vicon. He totally deserves it. Trust me when I say this. He's like this all the time. I said I was joking! Vic sighs, shaking his head. So, um, where do I even sit? Uh, do we even have an open seat in our classroom? There are a few in the back, but you'll have to be assigned to one. You have to be assigned one by the homeroom teacher. Since he's absent today, just take a seat, any, any seat you'd like, and he'll deal with it tomorrow. Okay, I guess I'll take this one. It's all the same, really. Victor pulls the chair and throws his bag on top of it. So, um, I assume that it's lunchtime, given how much food I see thrown on the top of the tables. Any chance there's a cafeteria here where I can get some food for myself? There is, but you have... If you have any love in life, don't eat there. It's not that bad. It's only a few dishes that suck. The rest is perfectly edible. You're just being nitpicky because you're used to fancy stuff. Ugh, <laughs> uh, I speak. My lunchbox is literally salad, rice, and sausages. What's fancy about that? Huh. Yeah, wow. Totally not what I was expecting, honestly. What exactly were you expecting? Gold leaves, diamonds, and pearls? Uh, something along those lines, yeah. You're ridiculous. Heh, I try. Well, you two seem to get along very well. <laughs> not at all. Not at all. I almost picked the wrong one. <laughs> Despite their protests about this sort of stuff, they end up agreeing with each other more often than not. It can be downright disturbing sometimes. Oh, I I'm sorry. Ignore them. These two bickering is just another thing that you get used to in time. Oh! <laughs> Don't ignore me. Hey, that's my line. Stop stealing my line. <laughs> Both of you, stop! They immediately jump up in surprise as Sai's thunderous voice threatens to shake their very core. Jesus, stop behaving like children already. You're both grown men. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, okay, I is something else I'll get used to with time? I'll tell you once I do. You'll leave him hanging for us for a good while, then. Quite likely. You two are ruthless, Sai chuckles. <laughs> Look who's talking. Saya waves him off, immediately turning around to look Victor in the eye, a move that makes the fox jump. She puts both hands behind her back and curves her body forward, looking at him with a big smile on her face. So, Vicon, you said you needed food, right? We can share some of ours with you, right, guys? Yeah, totally. Yeah, um... Yeah, totally. For sure. I, I wasn't even going to eat mine. Well, wow, that's really nice, but I can't accept that. 
Hmm, why not? If you give a little, if you, if I, if we give you a little bit of our four lunch boxes, we'll barely notice the difference for ourselves. But you'll have, you'll still have a good deal of food to eat. Well, she gives him back. She gives him back a. She gives his back a few like taps that are more like slaps. Giggling. Ugh. Sorry guys, it's late. It's okay, isn't it? This is the perfect opportunity to get to know your new classmates. Not that I'm really your classmate, but that doesn't matter. It's all right, Vikan. I've only transferred to this school at the start of this school year, but they've ma all made me feel very welcome. That's nice to know. I, I suppose a meal couldn't hurt. Uh, how much do I have to pay you guys? <laughs> you crack me up as if we'd let you pay for that. But it's fine, Vikan. Come on, let's introduce you to the rest of the class. One by one, pre preferably. <laughs> Come on, Michimaya. Put some more spring in your step. Y yes! This is exhausting. Coach, how do you know there's how do you know how do you know there's no point to him working hard if he falls dead from exhaustion, right? Nonsense. This is just taking this is a slight workout. Not to mention the fact that he has to two years of slacking off to make up for. Gah! His words have so many barbs on them. I'm honestly amazed. Coach, what happened to that laissez faire personality you had for the past two years? No, no, he's been doing a series of high-intensity workouts for two hours already without breaks. He literally looks like he's about to fall dead. We'll see. We'll, well, we'll see about that, won't we? Hey, Yuichi, are you ready from? Are you really that much of a whip that you're exhausted from just this? Y yes, sir. Sai smiles cockily. Meanwhile, Coach's expression contorts in a look of frustration. I really thought it'd go the other way around. Come on, Yuichi-kun, let's get you some water and rest before he changes his mind. Saya walks up to me, slowly guiding me to some of the benches we have close to the entrance. What? You look like a newborn fawn right now. Your legs won't stop shaking. You try doing all that crap he's putting me through. Uh, crap, I think I might throw up. You throw up on me, and I can assure you it won't be the workout that kills you. That's so mean. As soon as we reach the benches, I immediately topple over them. Uh, I don't think I can ever get up from here. Tell it back a little, okay? He might be overworking you, but he's got a point. You've been slacking for the past two years. Don't worry. The message is made perfectly abundantly clear today. <laughs> what did Coach even do? What did Coach even tell you anyway? You're not working as hard as you should be, blah 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 blah. You're just running away from your responsibilities, blah 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 blah. He'd kill you if he heard you mimicking him like that. I shrug. Yeah, I know he's not wrong. It's just being told that to my face is kind of a lot. In the end, he decided that Kaken would be my would be my practice partner and gave me a new training routine. At least you two benefit from it. Think of it that way. Yeah, I'll try. Well, see you later then. I still have to get back to my practice. What? You didn't say you were going to get me some. You did say you were going to get me some water. You didn't say you were going to get me some water. I was, but then you said you were never getting up from that bench again. Now I kind of want you to get it yourself. You're awful! Sure am. See ya. For ya. She quickly walks away, leaving me alone on my bench, waterless and exhausted. Oh, great. I feel get it myself. I try standing up, but my legs immediately go, nope, and buckle under my weight. I immediately fall ass first on the bench again. Oh. Hey, hey, I know I said it as a joke, but I don't want to be stuck on this bench for the rest of my life. Who are you talking to? <laughs> oh god, it warped. I look to the side and see June standing there by the entrance with Vikun's next to him. Oh, uh, uh, no one, no one at all. Did I just get caught talking to myself? Great, that doesn't make me sound crazy at all. Actually, why was I even talking to myself? What's wrong with me? Ugh, no, don't go there. What's up, June? What brings you to this part of, uh, oh, screw it, I'm too tired to make a clever joke out of that. I get the feeling it wouldn't be a clever joke even if you weren't. Since when did you become so sassy? And never mind that. I was showing Jeff I was showing Jeff Kun around school and I mentioned Mizuguchi san and Rushi Harrison were in the tennis club. So he wanted me to come so he wanted to come take a look. I, I hope that's okay. It is. Don't worry about it. So Jeff Kun, wasn't it Vikun this more just this morning? Uh, anyway, Jeff Kun, what got you interested in coming over? Well, I, I used to play badminton back in Europe, back in France, back in France. I thought, hey, badminton and tennis are kind of similar, right? And I decided that I'd come take a look. Sure, they're similar in about the same way that American football is similar to rugby. Well, this doesn't have to be a badminton club, so... 
It's fine. I'd show you around, but... Well... I try getting up one more time, and it's just like last time, my legs immediately buckle under my weight, forcing me down on the seat again. As you can see, I can barely stand. Wow, you seem to be really fit, too. Is practice that tough in this club? Nah, this is specific just to me. I'm trying to do, like, a French accent. Oh, God, how are we going to do a French accent without sounding offensively, offensively American French? Oh my god, I'm gonna have to practice. Alright guys, I'm gonna have to practice a voice for him. Yuichi-san Yuichi -san is the number two player in Japan, so he gets a different training menu for him. Uh, to be fair, our club has only one coach, so he can't possibly create and supervise individual training menus for each and every player. He gives a little extra attention to the ones who draw sponsors for our club, and the others who get to choose between a few pre-made training menus. Hmm, that sounds interesting. I wonder if I could play tennis. If you want to, you can give it a try. I can lend you a racket and everything. Really, that'd be great. Although, my rackets are custom-made for me, taking into consideration my bodybuilding style of play, so maybe it wouldn't be such a great idea. Uh, June, can you fetch Kaken for me? You're gonna ask to borrow one- you guys to borrow one of his spare rackets? At first, I thought of asking Saya, since Vikan's build is more in line with hers, but then I remember that she also has rackets being, being custom-made for her. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. All right, almost done. Wouldn't Rishi Harrison just hire a company to make custom brackets for him too? He could if he wanted to, but he said he doesn't want to use the, his financial status as an advantage. That's surprisingly humble of him. He's an odd guy like that. Anyway, if you will, sure, I'll be right back. And by the way, Vikun. Wait, is this going to be Vikun or Chefkun? Either one is fine. Anyway, what made you leave France for Japan? Thinking of moving here long term? He fidgets in place at my sudden inquiry, looking unsure. Hey, I've always been interested in your culture, so I decided to spend some time abroad here. You know, get some fresh air and maybe learn a few new, a new thing or two. That's an interesting sentiment. I myself don't really know much about the French. Is it true that you guys eat snails? Ka. I can see him physically cringing inwardly at my question. It is, is it true that you guys enjoy fornicating with tentacled monsters? Uh... Exactly. Can we please drop the cultural stereotypes? Uh, sorry, sorry, you don't have to get upset, so upset about it. Ah. As if he only realized it now, Vic looks at me with shock. Oh, uh, sorry, it wasn't my intention to be rude. He desperately bows, uttering a dozen apologies. It's fine, I asked a rude question. No, I shouldn't have snapped at you. Jeez, lighten up a little. What's going on? Why is Jevkin bowing? Well, it's nothing. He immediately jumps up, s standing as straight as he can, fidgeting as a fidgeting on the spot. Anyway, here you go. Rishi Harrison just asked that you that you be careful with it. Oh, thanks. Victor takes hold of the racket, very carefully swinging it around to get a feel for it. It's heavy. It feels a, a bit weird. Well, you're used to playing with a badminton racket, so I'm not really surprised. If you want to give it a try, ask Coach. The application period has already passed, and but since being part of a club is mandatory, I'm sure they'll open an exception for you. Um, where's the coach? He's the tall crocodile that's walking around the court somewhere. I'm not sure where exactly. Go look around for a bit. Uh, okay, um, see ya. See ya. Yeah, don't worry so much. You'll be fine. Victor nods and runs off looking for Coach Mikado. Ah, I forgot to tell him Coach's name. It will it really matter. No one calls him by, na by the name anyway from what I've seen. Hmm, I guess you're right. Uh, by the way, how are you feeling? Are you really so tired that you can't stand? Yeah, I'm sore everywhere. Uh, it's frustrating. I I'm pretty sure I'm done for the day. I'm sorry to hear. Oh, can you... I can give you a massage if you want. Uh, a massage? Do you even know how to do one properly? Uh, sure, Dad always comes home from work exhausted. Mom used to work extra shifts back then. So I learned to give him massages to try and help, him, help him out a little. Oh, that's very sweet of you. You're probably a model son. <laughs> you praise me too much. If you want, we can go look. We can go to the locker room, and I can give you a massage there. I'd love to, but I try standing up once more for effect. The same thing as the last two times happens, except this time I fall forward. Wow! June reacts fast, grabbing me before I can hit the floor. Immediately, I can feel his knees quaking under my weight. What? You inside? You're you're heavy. So, sorry, let me adjust myself. 
I try sitting back down, but June, but June pulls me towards him once more. What? It's fine. Just try to take, just try to take some of your weight. I'll help you walk to the lockers. Oh, all right. Oh, June plops me down at one of the locker room benches, and I immediately rest my back on one of the lockers. Thanks for that. Sorry for making you do this. No worries. I'm glad to help. And now about that massage. He stops talking abruptly, looking, looking away. What? Well, usually when you give someone a massage, you want to touch the skin instead of the clothes. My dad used to strip down to his boxers when I gave him when I gave him massages. Ooh, I see where this is going, and it's going to wait till the next episode. Ooh, thank you guys so much for watching. We got introduced to a new character today. I wonder if he'll factor in it pretty significantly into the story. I bet he will. I wonder if he's a romantic interest. That'd be interesting. Hmm, dating a Frenchman. <laughs> but anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to have a forget to have a good night. I'm tired. I am so tired. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell. Leave a super thanks if you can. It always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!